welcome to the Nintendo Wiretap. My name is Amiibo Jason, and on today's episode, we're talking about something near and dear to my heart. No, it's not video games, it's something different. It's, it's just as fun in my opinion, and that's amusement parks. Specifically, what appears to be leaked images of a model that is showcasing what Super Nintendo World is going to look like, and a new area we've never seen before. So without further ado, let's dive in and take a look. Now, a while back, Nintendo confirmed that Super Nintendo World, this amazing theme park based on the world of Nintendo, is coming to Universal Studios in Japan, Orlando, Florida, and Hollywood, California. Now, at the time, we did get some information about what this park would look like. In fact, there was this kind of trailer that showcased Mario going into the park itself, but we only really got to see a small bit of what's in store. But now, thanks to the good folks at the unofficial Universal Orlando podcast, we have what appears to be leaked images of models that are showcasing what this park is going to look like. And the coolest part is, it's not just the Mario-themed park that we've seen in concept art in the past, we actually have a Donkey Kong-themed area too, and in my opinion, this is just absolutely amazing. So. Let's start with the Mario theme park. Again, this is going to be very familiar to what we've already seen before. Now, like I said before, a lot of this is something that we've already seen before, but we actually do have some new names to some of the attractions here. First and foremost, it looks like one of the first areas you come across when you enter the park is something called Toadstool Cafe. Now, it's a big mushroom, it kind of looks like one of Toad's houses in Mario Bros. 3, and I'm guessing this is going to be either like a coffee shop or a restaurant. It's going to be pretty cool to see what kind of food they're going to serve. I'm guessing some sort of Italian food would make the most sense, but whatever it is that they are serving, I'm sure it's going to be great. So, it looks like the main attraction for this particular area in the park is something called Yoshi's Adventure and it looks like it's the biggest attraction in this entire area. So when you look at the model, there's something really interesting in this one. It's essentially a whole lot of different colored Yoshis lined up. In fact, I count about 20 different Yoshis essentially in this area. So it kind of looks like that every person that goes on this ride essentially has their very own Yoshi to ride through the Mushroom Kingdom, which sounds really amazing. Now, if I had to guess, this is probably going to be some sort of 3D motion type ride where, like I said, you ride on Yoshi through the Mushroom Kingdom, maybe go after Bowser. It looks like it's going to be a really fun time though. Now, at this point, this could just be a piece of concept art. It's not necessarily completely official that this is going to be exactly what this ride is going to be, but if this model is legit, it does appear that you, at least theoretically in the future, should be able to ride your own Yoshi at an amusement park, which I never knew I wanted so bad until this very moment. But that's Yoshi's Adventure. Besides that, we have a Mario Kart themed attraction in the very back. We've seen this before. This one's themed after Bowser's Castle, which looks really amazing. And there are other areas too. It looks like there's a desert area. There's something where a thwomp is guarding it. I have no idea specifically what that is. And in the very back, we have a snowy area too. So this area is pretty big. It looks like it could house maybe three or four different rides or attractions, gift shops, and of course the Toadstool Cafe, which should be a pretty cool restaurant. But like I said before, we've seen a lot of this already. So a lot of the really cool, interesting stuff comes from the second area, the area we've never seen before. And this one is based on Donkey Kong Country and it appears that something I've always wanted might come true with this picture, and that is the main attraction in this area, which is a Donkey Kong Country themed roller coaster, and I cannot wait for this to actually become a reality. So if you've ever played a Donkey Kong game in the past, you know that the minecart levels are a huge part of it, it's kind of a staple of the series, and it looks like that is completely recreated here. In fact, if you look really closely at this image, it looks like this attraction even has a name right now, it's called Minecart Madness, so it does look like that's what we're going to get. So I can't wait for this to actually happen. Like I said before, I'm a massive fan of the Donkey Kong series and the idea of actually riding a Donkey Kong roller coaster is it's, it's just completely insane to me. I mean, the idea that this park is even happening, is it still hasn't really sunk in for me, but I can't wait for this thing to open up. 
So besides the roller coaster, it does look like there might be another restaurant. I can see something that actually looks like Donkey Kong's treehouse, so I could imagine that being either some sort of gift shop, maybe a restaurant. It would be really cool. Obviously, the airplane that we've seen in many other Donkey Kong games is sitting down there too, with what appears to be barrels of bananas, which makes a lot of sense. But besides that, like I said before, it looks like this roller coaster is going to be the main attraction for this area. But there you go, those are the two areas that were essentially shown off in this model. But like I said before, I think it's completely important to remember that this is just a model. Just because this is created doesn't mean that this is exactly what this area is going to look like. But luckily, we shouldn't have a whole lot of time really to wait for this to actually happen. The very first Super Nintendo World is supposed to be opening up just in time for the 2020 Olympic Games in Japan. So I would imagine we should start getting even more construction images of these areas coming pretty quick. But for the time being, these models are really giving us a good idea of what to expect. But what do you guys think about this? Do you like these areas? Are you hoping for even more? Let me know your thoughts and your dreams for Super Nintendo World in the comments down below. And that's going to wrap up tonight's Nintendo Wiretap. I'll see you soon with yet another episode, but as always, until then, stay wired in. Bye, guys. Wow.